Hey guys, wanted to come to y'all with a quick video on something a lot of people have been asking me about lately, um, and that is on a land farming or for Call of Spartan. Okay, so these three accounts, this is kind of what my setup looks like. Uh, so these three accounts up here are just farming all three resources. I don't farm food, I just pretty much open as much food as I want from bags and I trade for it if I if I need any more. Then these two are my mains. Well, not my mains. The one on the right is my friend, Mr. Rat. We use, we kind of just, we just play around with each other's accounts whenever we want. So he considers my account his, I consider his account mine. Uh, they're just farming gold right now, nothing too crazy. And then you have these three accounts, which is the main topic of this video. I apologize in advance, by the way, for the handheld camera. I don't have a tripod with me right now. Uh, all three of these accounts, I did just move to a, a new kingdom, a new kingdom, um, in an effort to make it a gold farm kingdom. Uh, so most people here are pretty small right now. So this is, and there's not much land that's taken. So the way the method I'm doing, it, it works for for me. Uh, if you're in a overpopulated kingdom, you're gonna probably ruffle some feathers by doing what I'm doing right here. But I'm just gonna explain to y'all <clears throat> what's going on. All three of these are running the same bot that I that I made. Uh, a couple days ago for this and here we go so we're gonna focus on the middle one um, and I'm just gonna kind of walk y'all through what's going on it the the bot cycle is uh, about a minute and 30 seconds and as soon as this one gets done we'll just start over from the beginning and I'll kind of show y'all what it's doing I'm not gonna walk you through exactly how to make this bot because this bot is about 120 clicks total uh, and a couple swipes as well but I will do my best. If, if you want to know exactly how to use the program, I would go look, watch my monster robot video. Uh, I kind of go through some of the program that way. And then MacRoverify also has an awesome tutorial um, if you want to learn in depth. Uh, but for the purpose of it, this video, I'm just going to kind of show you my thought process uh, so you guys can make this on your own. <clears throat> it's just about to reset here. Like remember I told you it's about a minute and 30 seconds long. It's just, as soon as it teleports, it'll random teleport, uh, and then we'll start. I'll kind of walk you through what's going on. A lot of people do this with 20,000. They'll get 20,000 random ports, and, you know, they'll just go click, set up an auto clicker. But th with doing it this way, you can do you can get 20K lands with only about 2,000 random ports. So it's just a little bit more efficient, in my opinion. So here we go. So it's swiping, and so the end of the the one minute and 30 seconds and then here's the beginning so first of all it's going to go to this one it's going to it clicks on this one and then this is just a click sequence a pattern and then it clicks on this one uses that same click sequence pattern and then it's going to click on this one which is already occupied and you'll notice it won't do anything it'll just kind of click around for a second and then it'll click on this one it's already done so it's not going to do anything here it's going to go this one you'll see it in just a second and then it does that same click sequence I told you about. You can just copy and paste it in your robot. And then it's this one. And then it's going to do this one, which there's a, a monster on, so it's, it's just going to click around for a second. And then it's going to go to this one. And then it's going to be done. All right? So, and then it's going to take care if anything is here. And you could, I don't, I didn't use image detection on this. You could, and you could save some more time. But uh, I just have it, it'll click here and then it'll click here, and then it'll click here. And it'll, and it'll wait like about six or seven seconds, just in case you have, what this is for is if you, if there was a tile, like a gold tile or a farm or something here, and you still have marches out, it, obviously you wanna bring in all your marches uh, before you go random teleporting off because that's gonna cause major issues. So you don't, so that's, that's what this extra time here, it looks like it's just sitting here, but really it's just waiting six, seven seconds. And it's just, it's, it's pretending, hey, I need to click here. And then it's gonna recall the march and then it's gonna say, okay. And then when it does that, this is just a swipe, it random teleports. Okay, so this one has a farm right here. You're gonna see what it does on this farm. I'm just gonna be quiet and let y'all watch this for just a second. So there it goes, it sends to the farm. And now we have one march out. So this is what I was saying, you wouldn't want to random teleport. So this is what that end, after it gets done sending to the eight tiles around it, you're gonna see what it does here in just a second. 
as soon as it gets done. So right now it's doing the diagonal tiles. Monster, it's just going to skip over that. And the last one here. Okay, now it gives enough time for this to come out here. See, it's just sitting here right now. It's waiting. I have it programmed in. There's a certain amount of time, and then it'll come back. And pretty much spot on, as soon as it gets back, it's going to click right here. And then it's going to deal with any marches you still have out. Watch this. It's going to click here, and then it's going to click here on this, and then it's going to click recall. And then it's going to wait seven or eight seconds for that to get back. And, and then it's going to do it again. It's going to click here, and it's going to click here, and then it's going to click here. Now, in this case, there's no more, but what if I had random teleported and there was like a farm here and a farm here and a farm here? So I think I have it programmed in to do it up to four times if it did random teleport to a spot where there were more than four, uh, you'd be kind of be in trouble and your bot would get messed up. Uh, but that's very, very rare. So and I watch these things pretty closely as I'm sitting here doing my work day. So, uh, I don't think that's ever happened. Not once, but anyways, uh, all three of these accounts will have 20,000 lands in about three days time is about, if you do the math on how fast and on average, how many, how many tiles it's getting, It'll be about three days, um, and it will only take about 22,500 to 3,000 random teleports, um, which I don't have that many on these accounts, so that's really good, and it makes for really good gold farming. And then after you get these up to the 20K lands, you can, you know, be generating gold while farming gold like these are, and so they're going to be, you know, you can make up to 50 million gold a day with your 20k lands and then you can farm level 5 gold tiles all day at the same time you know uh, for another I forget what it is like 120 million a day so I mean you can make don't quote me on that I have to do the, the exact math but you can you can make uh, with these four gold farm well if you count the, his it's five but with all five, you could be making like 800 million gold a day. If you set up your, you know, as soon as your gold gets full, you can make another robot to, you know, just set like a bank next to you, make another robot that has image detection. Like whenever you see 40 million, just start trading until it's back to zero, you know, whatever you want to do. So pretty powerful tool. Just wanted to share this with you guys and I hope it helps.